In this video, we'll be seeing how to work with the PowerPoint interface. What are the names given? What are the uses of those PowerPoint interface? Let's see that one by one. In this video, I'll show you how to, uh, what is exactly quick access toolbar, file tab, ribbon, tabs, and all this option. Let's see that. Now on the top, this is the PowerPoint screen here. If you see on the top, these are the buttons, the icon for save, undo, redo, and the slideshow. So this options are known as, I mean, this area is known as QAT quick access toolbar quick access toolbar that is the only toolbar which is available after 2007 version 2007 2010 13 16 these are the versions of microsoft powerpoint in this version that is the only toolbar but if you go back in the previous version of 2003 they had many toolbars available format edit file etc so that is the quick access toolbar if you come below that this these are the tabs home insert design transition so you see these are the tabs i keep on clicking on those these are the different tabs previous version they were known as menu bars every tab has multiple options this area this square line is known as ribbon okay this rectangular line, line is known as ribbon every ribbon is different for every different uh, tabs and have multiple options multiple uh, things available here so that is the tabs and these are the ribbons available if you want to use maximum space for this slide what you can do is you can hide the ribbon how do you hide a ribbon the shortcut is you can just double click on any tab and the ribbon gets hidden so if you want to bring it back i mean you get more space to work on right you can just double click on that and the ribbon comes back right so this is the ribbon portion on the left hand side of the tab if you see there's a file button some versions of excel you might find as office button so if you click on the office or file button you get this backend options like new, create, or you can say close, save, print. These are all uh, different things available. You can also use the second interface of this backend tab. And these are the properties which are available. The created time, date, the username, etc. All these things are available here. So that is what you call quick access toolbar. We have seen file tab. This was a ribbon. Okay, these are the tabs available uh, and tabs on the top. Second is the slide tab. So if you see on the left hand side, these are the slides which you can see. If you press Ctrl M, M for Monday. So M is the shortcut to create a new slide. So this see new slides are created. So these are this area is known as slide tab. That is known as slide tab, right? The, because there are many, many slides over here. Next, I have the zoom option. If you see at the bottom, I have minus and plus button here and there's a 66 person. So if you keep on extending it, it maximizes the zoom size. If you minimize it, it goes back, right? So that is the zoom size available here, right? You cannot use this touch screen because it's my, so you can just click on this plus sign and it comes as zoom. Next is I have some title bar on this place on the top heading. If you see that is the name of the file. My name of the file is interface for PowerPoint. So that is the name of the file that is title bar. And on the right hand side of the title bar, you see there are uh, cross, maximize, minimize, close, maximize, minimize the shortcut buttons. And the last one, I have the notes sections. So when you go for a presentation, you need some speaker notes. When the speaker speaks, there are some notes which only the speaker can see that. So if you see at the bottom, that is a notes section here. That's a click to add notes and you can start typing here. This is notes section. And this is the note section place where the notes are written for a particular slide. You don't want the end user to see that. So these are all the, uh, you know, different things available on the screen at the bottom. And if you want to hide or show the notes, you can just click on this notes tab. The notes tab will be hidden and it can be shown. So this way the PowerPoint interface works. So we have seen how to work on this different elements in the PowerPoint interface. So I hope you have understood the video and that's all.